those monsters to be a guest. I think we are ready to start our meeting. The meeting of uh, those Buster Club of uh, 177th meeting. Quite a long history of our club. So, uh, for those who are first time here, uh, who don't know about uh, Toastmasters, Toastmasters is a, is a uh, very um, widespread chain of uh, clubs for developing public speaking and leadership skills. So that's uh, and, uh, one of uh, such clubs we have here, but in Moscow we have uh, seven clubs, uh, uh, three in Russian, uh, uh, two, uh, three in English, two in Russian, French, Spanish, and German. Eight clubs, actually. So, um, we have a tradition uh, to put uh, your mo mobile phone sets to, mo uh, to silent mode, just to make sure that we are not disturbing anyone who are going to take the stage. Let's do it together. And uh, I see a few new faces. And uh, I'd like to invite to the stage those people who are first time here, please. And we have a little introduction. Okay, very good. Very good. So, a few of us. Few small questions. Uh, your name, your occupation, how did you know about the club, and your expectation. Should I start first? Yes. Uh, so my name is Ilya Gusev. I um, uh, found the uh, club with the internet and mm -hmm. the Toastmasters work. Mm -hmm. uh, I already registered to get my... Uh, today I had my first speech. This uh, ice-breaking speech. Excellent. I already did. Uh, my occupation, I, I'm involved in the chemical industry. Uh -huh. And uh, expectations, I really want to get less nervous. Speeches. Because I do it from time to time, but pretty much now it was easy for me. Excellent. So Excellent. Hoping, hoping for the best. I think you are in the right place. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. <laughs> Your name, please. Hello, my name is uh, Alexey Avrachenko. Uh, I'm a software devel developer at Yandex. Uh, uh, I learned about uh, Toastmasters uh, by watching. 2015th uh, finals, actually. Uh, it was a video that uh, a guy suggested to me at discussion forums at, uh, at the uh, oral communication course uh, at Coursera by Rice University. Uh, I started on that course because I wanted to uh, learn uh, the ropes of public speaking. Um, the reason being that uh, I do, I do make, make uh, presentations, uh, you know, the typical PowerPoint presentations uh, from time to time, but I never really uh, took time to learn how to do it properly. And in addition, I felt, and honestly my superiors also felt that I need to improve my communication skills, and they figured, why not start, why not start there? Very good, very good. Awesome, welcome. My name is Mikhail Kavrigin, mm -hmm. um, I'm an occupation, right? So um, I used to uh, run a large uh, organization for one of the multinational organizations. And uh, now I, have, I do some IT consulting for the time being. And one of my best friends, so Mikhail Kavrigin, used to, um, is part of Toastmasters and he was uh, actively um, inviting me to, to join it uh, even uh, a couple of years ago. So I had to do uh, public speeches on a regular basis uh, in my past life. Uh, I would say it comes naturally, and uh, I don't think it is easy for me. So it would be great really to take uh, an opportunity and uh, train, maybe go through some, some of the learning materials uh, to advance my capabilities in this. Very good, very good. Toastmasters actually is an education platform, so it's, it's uh, I think, uh, right choice. Ricardo, yes. Uh, I am Ricardo, I'm from Bolivia. I arrived to Moscow two, mo two weeks ago. Uh, I, I am part of Toastmasters and I, I, I am a member since, since 
since uh, last uh, January. Mm, I get still pretty nervous when I do speeches, as the previous gentleman before me. I'm also into IT, so I'm starting to think that maybe they're talking about IT that makes us very shy to be in the public. And my expectation is just to be like uh, to to have a very uh, fluent speeches, even if I have to. Um, very good, very good, very good, you guys. So now please take your seats and uh, at the uh, second part of our meeting after the break we have table topic exercise and you have an opportunity to take the stage and to participate on the exercise as well. So um, we have quite a lot of paper on your desks and uh, I'd like to explain the rules a little bit for you to uh, not to be lost with this, within all those pieces of paper. So one is uh, 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 this little uh, uh, paper. That's about Sergei uh, 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 um, Kuzin is one of uh, most experienced uh, people of uh, Toastmasters uh, community in, in Moscow and he is doing some research. And uh, I would like to ask you to participate in this little exercise on providing feedback uh, for every speaker who is going to take the stage uh, uh, for tonight. So that's number one. Uh, I think uh, you will have explanation about other piece of papers a bit later. I would like to mention this one as well. This is a, a feedback form about uh, everyone who is going to take the stage here um, uh, for, for some evaluation from your side. So this uh, uh, one, within Toastmasters we have quite a lot of activities, quite a lot and uh, one of the uh, great event is, event is coming which is uh, Spring Conference which is going to be in April uh, 13 and 14. By the way it's time for registration and I would like to invite to the stage Julia uh, uh, who is going to explain a bit more about um, conference. Yep. So yeah, as it was said, my name is Yulia and I'm a part of the organizing team of this conference. And so in less than 10 days, this conference is about to take place and I believe that's totally one of the biggest and the most awesome events in Toastmasters community. So some people mentioned here on the stage that they want to improve their communication skill, that they would like to meet new people, that they would like to integrate into their Moscow life. So I believe this conference is just like the right place to do that. Uh, because first of all, we will have workshops from seven speakers from across the world, mainly from, uh, from Europe, from Poland. They will be coming delivering uh, speeches and workshop to teach you more about the public speaking skills. We will also have a uh, contest in English and in Russian, so you will observe the way the best Toastmasters in our community present on the stage. Also have an awesome party and we are preparing for, for, for this. So during the entire conference and during the after party, you will have a chance to, to get in touch with people, to get to know their passions, connect, who knows, maybe you'll find a business partner, your friend, like I did during one of those conferences. And we also prepared a small video for you. So you get a little more excited about the event as we are. Do you know how to turn on? No, no, you have to press F10 with, uh, with F7. F10 with F7.
uh, because last conference was totally amazing, so we are planning to make this one even bigger and even greater. So for you to get to know what's going to happen there more, we prepared a little, little brochures, little, little papers here, so you can make more information, you can check out our website for program, for speaker's description, uh, so you can see here all the information on the website. You can here see the speakers, their workshop description. Uh, we have an opportunity for you to register for two days of the conference, either for one. So if you feel comfortable coming for the second day, please do, because we'll have program in English and in Russian as well. So you can select any workshop that you would like and come and attend, and I believe you will get great experience from coming here. Thank you. Thank you, very good. Thank you, Yudis, thank you. And uh, also I'd like to mention uh, one more activities within the, quite popular within the Toastmaster community is uh, random coffee, so-called. So, which is a, a process of selecting randomly Toastmasters and uh, uh, those people can uh, have uh, coffee together, talk about life, whatever, and uh, know better each other. I think it's a good opportunity, so that's also uh, uh, way for registration and the information about it is on the site. So with that, I think uh, we uh, mentioned most, almost everything. Yes, we have uh, uh, this little box, uh, 100 rubles, donation for the meeting. Please do not forget to put either after meeting or during the break. And with that, without delay, I would like to, I would like to introduce uh, the um, quite important person for tonight meeting who is Toastmaster of the meeting. Vladimir Danilenko is the Toastmaster of the meeting. Welcome to the meeting. Oh. <laughs> with this great evening and uh, the end of a very warm day and also with the good day that we have two days back, April 1st, April, Fool's Day. So today topic will be all about humor, jokes and, and fun. For preparing uh, of this meeting I asked uh, the speakers of today to prepare some joke, jokes or pranks or um, something to share about uh, about the pranks they either participated or witnessed. So I will not step aside. Uh, I will not stand aside. I will tell a little joke by myself. It happened uh, last year when I was preparing for my vacation to a very exotic country. I had some concerns regarding air travel and uh, I needed to resolve them. So I remembered, well, I have a colleague of mine, Ilya. He's sitting right next to my desk in the office. He, Ilya is a fan of aviation. He, he knows everything about plants. He, right, uh, he likes to talk about them. He enjoys Ira photography, goes to shows, stuff like this. You can see what I'm talking about. And he, rightfully so, considers himself to be an expert in innovation. So I decided to contact him. I approached him in front of our peers and with a very serious face asked Ilya, I'm having some concerns regarding Please, you're an expert in aviation, right? Maybe you can resolve them for me. So Hilya, Ilya strengthened up a little bit. He knows everyone is looking. Said, shoot Vladimir, ask any question. I will ask, answer it. He was sure he, uh, he, he, he is ready to answer any question, any to share any historical fact or provide an opinion or something like this. So I asked him, okay, Ilya, please tell what in your opinion is an appropriate price for plane tickets to Bishkek? He didn't know, know what to answer. 
he burst into laughter and everyone did the same. So that was my story. Before we see to the major part, to the main part of the meeting, let me um, please be aware of one thing. While we are laughing and fooling around, there are three very important people in the audience who will look closely at our performance and uh, evaluate it in, in different ways. So let me introduce on this stage one of these men, Igor Strikalov, a timer for the day meeting. Hello everyone, today uh, I will be timer and I will keep your time uh, according to your speeches, to your plans and write down, control, that's all. Okay. Uh, if, uh, for uh, speakers, uh, if I uh, show uh, green uh, light, uh, it's a uh, low time limit, uh, five, six, or seven minutes or less. Uh, it's it's divide. Uh, it depend. It depends on uh, your speech. Uh, when I show um, yellow light, uh, it's uh, a half minute before your uh, end of your speech. And uh, when I show uh, red light, uh, your speech is over. <laughs> Thank you for an introduction. And our counter for today's meeting will be Ricardo, so let's welcome him. Good evening, everybody, again. Thank you. Uh, I will be the our counter. Uh, I was just notified about this. Um, it's very important that you should pay attention to your ask, to your, to your R's and square, but any any word that you that's your default, if you uh, use it too often, it becomes annoying. So please pay attention, and if you can in the future, you can also be a counter. It will help you a lot. Thank you very much. And grammarian and word master for today, Ivan Sankov. Masters, I'm a grammarian today, which means that I will try to check your speeches, try to check your grammar and pronunciation, and uh, in the end of the speaking part, uh, I will uh, give you my report and uh, show who who is the winner of mistakes, and uh, also I will check how you maybe use some fancy words or fancy vocabulary and cool phrases in your speeches. Also, I have a special word of the day it's, uh, and this sure piece of paper on your table. Actually, it's the phrase of the day and uh, to be over the moon, which means to be very happy, extremely happy. For example, Tanya yesterday bought a new Dolce Gabbana jeans on AliExpress and <laughs> she, was, <laughs> she was over the moon and I am over the moon today because uh, this is my first time when I'm a grammarian so in the, my report I will also uh, also show you who uses who used this phrase and uh, Please try to use it in your speeches. And uh, also, who find uh, a mistake in this uh, paper will <laughs> gain extra points. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much for a great introduction. So, now for prepared speeches. We have three today. I think we can start right away. The first will be 
speech by Yaroslava Artemyeva. Another way to make your body language better. So please event for the stage. So, 
if you maybe have already guessed, I'll speak about Russian folk dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so first, uh, first what you uh, get, you can switch you know, from this way. Yes. So the first, I'm going to give you the three, um, three opportunities which they will give. You. First of all, this is an upright posture. Yeah. If you join some folk dancing classes, you'll have to spend hours doing classical routine because all of them are based on belly classical dance. That's why you will have to do Vini Plie, Batman, Taiju, and Por de And finally, it will straighten your back because the muscles, muscles will <laughs> work for it. Maybe you also have a very passionate mentor um, who will be passionate about having backs straight. When I was uh, a child, I was strolling towards the rehearsal room and thinking when I'm going to do the um, home assignment and how. And then I didn't notice how I came into the rehearsal room and all of a sudden you guys have fixed your back. And I was just like, oh, hello Natalia Anatolyevna, how are you doing today? I didn't notice her. This was our mentor and she was very passionate about that we keep our backs straight. Another, another plus for you is gesture is empty. If you have ever seen Russian folk dancing, um, you maybe have noticed that they're very specific and all the gestures are very wide. Like you are going to take this table, but maybe a little bit lighter one, and move to another corner of the room. This is what will help any um, speech, uh, make any speech better, and help any speaker, in my opinion. Um, the third one, have you ever seen Russian circle dances where they just uh, floating and leaning in towards the audience? Or maybe you can imagine the exciting talk which you have um, to your friend and in a couple of seconds you start leaning in towards together. And this is the gesture which you can bring uh, which uh, Russian folk dances can be. As a bonus, you will get anti-gravity <laughs> routines and new friends and warmest memories. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Yaroslava. Quite an interesting perspective for Russian folk dances. In a sort of ways in this way. Before we move to the next speaker, uh, let me remind you using uh, one of the pieces of paper that no? that could be used to give speakers an additional feedback on their performance, maybe provide some ideas on how to improve it in future speeches, in future projects. And now, let me introduce, let me welcome to the stage Sheremek Tartakulov with his project number 10, Living Presence. Then I felt that the hand of my wife became heavier <laughs> and I didn't understand why. So I turned and uh, I held the hand of the clown. For a couple of minutes I was walking with the clown. <laughs> <laughs> so this was just uh, a situation that was happening. So <laughs> I guess everybody saw the movie Groundhog Day. 
There are many interesting uh, points in this. Uh, you didn't see the movie Groundhog Day? No? Okay. I will tell you what is it. Uh, the main character uh, of Bill Murray relives the same day over and over again. Six, six a.m. on the clock again. Then I put your little hand in mine. There ain't no hills or mountain we can climb. Baby, <laughs> I got you, baby. <laughs> At the beginning, she just gave up. He didn't want to leave. It was the worst day of his life. And by the end of the movie, we see that it is the exact same day, but somehow, this is probably the best day of his life. Only when he accepts the situation does he begin to evolve. He worked with what he had. He believed that someday will come another day and tries to live the, this day to the fullest extent and used effectively the time that was given to him. He learned to play piano, ice sculpting. He became a better caring person. As some of you might experience, one day looks the same as another day, like in movie Groundhog Day, especially in Moscow, home metro walk, metro home. For me personally, time flies by very fast. Um, with all this hectic rhythm, are we missing something important? Do we think, do we live on autopilot without having a progress in reaching our goals or not enjoying the life as it is? Don't we think that there are not enough opportunities to, for realization in life? No. Initially, you have to ex accept, appreciate what you have at hand. Look at the mirror. Hey man, everything is not that bad. You have both legs, both arms. You have people who love you. And you, lo you love them. Well, already not young, but not yet old. And Moscow is not the worst city. There are many interesting people, many interesting events in this city. But then, you need to learn to live at this present moment, not regretting about the past, not agitating about the future. Regretting about the past is like moving backwards. I should have done this differently. I should have entered another university. But first, you can meet step and fall down. Secondly, you just miss all that is happening right now in front of you. Did you notice that when you're in the car as a passenger, you don't remember the route while you reach the destination? Because you sit, just sit, sit daydreaming. But when you drive a car, you know the route, when to make a tour, what buildings and stores around you. Because when you drive a car, you're in this present moment. You have to actively scan the environment around you. And you don't worry about what kind of, about imagining what kind of dangerous situation might happen on the second turn in the future. You just act upon the situation, upon the current situation. Did you see another movie? <laughs> <laughs> that poet society. Did you oh. see? No? That poet society. You know? Yes. Uh, it tells the story of an English teacher who inspires his students through teaching of poetry. And one time, his students looked at, old, at the old pictures of people who studied in this school a long time ago and already must be dead. And the teacher whispered like it was a message from dead people to the current students. Carpe diem, seize the day, meaning live life now. There will be no moments like this. Keep your eyes open. I remember when I was young, if I noticed some attractive girl, I would hesitate coming to her. It's not the right moment. I need to wait more and more. 
when if I get the rest of my courage and once I started coming to her, boom, something was happening. Some other guy would approach her or she would live in a hurry with somebody else. It's better to catch the opportunity when it comes to you. Just jump and bite this fortune with all your teeth and do not lose the grip like a predator. And just pray this poor girl will not be able to run away from you. <laughs> no, I mean, if someone invites you to organize events or participate in a project, that might be your chance. Talking about the situations when opportunities could arise, as an actor Woody Allen said, 80% of success is showing up. The idea that the majority of success involved merely showing up seemed totally simplistic and an exaggeration. But think, if you want to be a great athlete, show up for practice. If you want to be a good speaker, show up on Toastmasters meetings. Of course, Toastmasters meeting is not the only place where to succeed. But still, <laughs> I haven't won anything in Toastmasters meetings for six years. <laughs> Not even a ribbon for table paper. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the third place when there were four contestants. And after that I started seeing some results. <laughs> this is my case, you don't need to wait for six years. <laughs> so 80% so of success is showing up, another 20 is showing up uh, prepared. You just need to keep on coming and do your homework. And great opportunities could come to you. In your movie, play the, the main role, not the secondary one. Carpe diem, seize the day, make your life extraordinary. Thank you, Nick. This was really inspiring. Now for the third and uh, final speaker for today's meeting, Denis Shevchuk with the project number five of humorous speeches of the humorous speaking film, Pains and Pleasures of Humble. I don't have a story for you. I just want to tell you one thing. I'm really happy to see you here. And one of the reasons is we have an international community. We have Ricardo from Bolivia. Carlo from the United Kingdom, right? Zamkadashi. <laughs> People from everywhere. <laughs> regarding, regarding my speech, I think, I believe, comedy is the highest form of public speaking. Public speaking in itself is, is like gymnastics. You do some elements, somehow judges evaluate you, it's subjective. People whine about it all the time, people cry about it all the time, it doesn't work. Comedy is like a hundred meter dash. The winner is clear. People laugh at your jokes, you won. People didn't laugh at your jokes, sorry guy. I once delivered a speech at a Toastmaster meeting and there were two Americans in the back row. And they were sitting there like, oh my God. And then they approached me after the meeting and they nice speech guy. Nice speech. In comedy, it doesn't work like that. But, but comedy is hard, guys. If you're not prepared, it's hard. When I first delivered a speech in a, or rather performed at a stand up comedy show, I had some postmaster friends with me. And when we left the show, one of the friends, Larissa Zorba, some of you may know her, she told me, Dennis, I liked it. It wasn't funny. <laughs> but I liked it. <laughs> Another time, after my performance, I was going to a metro station with two girls, and one of them was like, Dennis, you're hilarious, Dennis, you're hilarious. And I was like, yes? <laughs> Why weren't you laughing then? And she's like, well, I feel you're funny on the inside. And it felt, and it felt <laughs> weird. It felt weird. It felt like I, I was running to my mom, like, Mama, Mom, they're not, they're not laughing my jokes. And my mom is like, Dennis, come on, your, your jokes are very good. You have a very good sense of humor. And I'm like, 
Really, mom? Let me tell you a joke. She's like, no, 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 not, not that, son. Not that. I'm just, I'm just here to support you. And I've been performing for some time. And just the other day, just recently, I went to collect my coat in the wardrobe. In the wardrobe. And the wardrobe guy went. <laughs> that was pathetic, man. That was pathetic. It was really, it was really weak. And I'm like, I've just performed. He's like, I know, man. I know. And the last thing, the last, the saddest thing for me, saddest experience is I performed in a comedy contest, my mind. And after you perform in a comedy contest, they put you on stage and people vote for you. They cheer for you, they clap for you. And I had a Canadian guy before coming, Adrian Nero. And the host was like, Adrian Nero. And everyone went crazy. Adrian, we love you, take us to Canada, things like that. And I was the second one. And I'm like, I'll, I'll do fine, I'll do fine. And then like Dennis, and I come to the stage, and the same reaction, just like here. And just one <laughs> voice, <laughs> just one voice. Learn some jokes, man. We, we were waiting for your jokes. And I was like, mom, what do you mean? And she's like, sorry, son, I like Adrian better. But on the other hand, on the other hand, what is different between performers and people in the audience? You are nice people. Toastmasters are nice people by default. You, you're listening to us. But often enough, in bars, people don't care. They just sit there, they drink their beer. If, they, if you don't perform, they don't care and they are bored. But when you are about to perform, you're really excited. It goes, your heart beats like that. It's better than jumping with parachutes. I've only jumped with a parachute once in GTA, but I still know what I'm talking about. So, but and the another another good thing is, if you're like your mech, and you've been looking at beautiful girls or boys and waiting for a long time, comedy is great for you because if you do well and people laugh at your jokes, girls pay your attention. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, a nice guy, a funny guy. Just uh, the finest example of that is Maxim Galkin, right? <laughs> what a nice girl he has for him. So overall, guys, Toastmasters is good. It's a nice place. You'll be taking stage. People will be listening to you. They'll be approaching you and tell you did you did nice. You're almost a professional speaker. They will be lying to you 90% of the time. You you should compliment your Toastmaster performance with comedy routines as well. If you're interested, you can go do some stand-up comedy in Moscow. There are a lot of venues. Practice your public speaking and consider adding some comedy to your public speaking routine. It will only make you better. Thank you very much. Thank you, please, for a great project. It was actually also inspiring for me, just as you remember. I'm not a great humorous person, but I try to do something on this stage. So now we are moving for the break in our meeting. The first part is essentially over. During the break, please make sure to approach uh, the tea table to taste an official beverage from the exotic country that I visited last year. What did you drink? Water? No. Nice. No. I mean, it's a, some preparations. What is that? What's that? Maxim That's the best. What's the best drink in. I think Kirby said that's the best drink. I mean, you can never else you can find that. Uh, you can do it in Moscow. You can do it in Moscow? Yeah. In Kirby's yeah. shop? Yeah. yeah. This is from your last year trip. <laughs> no, <laughs> it wouldn't uh, last li that long. Actually, they have a shop in Belarus station that sell this locally in Russia. It's really an incredible beverage. You, I think, never tried this have you, one. Have you tried to open it? Because it's uh, a little tricky to open. If you like mix it and if you open it, it will yeah, just fire. I, I tried to carry it very precisely. Not. Maybe you first have to open it? <laughs> yes, you first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So after the refreshments are done, please uh, approach for the second part of the meeting for the table topic contest by Nikolai and the uh, evaluation part. Ten minutes? Ten minutes, yes, from now. Thank you. Hey friends, I hope you really like this wonderful beverage. <laughs> it's not no joke, it's really, really good. We are all set up, I think, and ready to proceed with the second part of the meeting, evaluation and uh, <coughs> first, first of all, table topic session, then, then evaluation. At this moment, I will need to retreat from the stage, and let me welcome on the stage Nikolai Denisenko, who will be the table topic master of the session. Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you, Vladimir. Thank you very much. So this is the uh, second part of our meeting, which is uh, table topic exercise. And uh, the rule of table topic exercise is pretty simple. So you have two minutes to talk, uh, minimum one minute, maximum two minutes. Uh, so the person who will come to the stage uh, will introduce the name. I will write down the name. and. Um, and then uh, we will talk. We will talk about small thing which I'd like to uh, to activate this again. Let me show. Very good, very good. Uh, right, lots of people. Uh, just a second. Yes. Whew. Eventually. <laughs> right. Um, as you know, uh, many, many strange and stupid and. Uh, very unusual things people are doing very serious phase right so I'd like to uh, ask you uh, to explain uh, very strange uh, things which you would like to you which you see on the picture and explain to us with a serious face why it is so important why it is so good why all of us we need to have such kind of things it's kind of salesman or kind of you know invention uh, person of uh, those things so um i see the first face first person brave person to come to the stage yes please thank you so much yes so should i start right away yeah and your name again Ilya. Ilya. so number one Ilya. so stage is yours all right thank you very much so, if I understand correctly, that's uh, uh, some bag on wheels. I guess it's extremely uh, useful thing, especially in the airport, if you have a long uh, commute between the different gates or something. That might be very, very nice to have. Uh, another thing, um, 
Um, you can use this stuff to transfer whatever possessions you have with you and you would like to take them home with them or maybe to the work or whatever. You go to the gym and you can uh, pack this stuff full and it would be extremely uh, easy uh, to carry because otherwise you would be you would be forced to, to, to have quite a substantial base. But with this thing on the wheels, it's uh, just a blessing. You uh, <laughs> running away and you enjoying the wind and the sun and uh, all the stuff with you. So that's uh, dramatically, uh, could dramatically improve your life. Excellent, excellent, very good. So one more thing. Uh, so um, you can pass this one to the next speaker. So who's going to be next speaker? <laughs> so then it's your choice. <laughs> Thirty seconds for preparation. If you like. <laughs> if you like. Uh 
some crime thing. Yes, mm -hmm. that's why he tried to step by step to move inside with nobody. So he okay. this. Thank you, thank you, Irene. thank you very much. Who is going to be next? Yes. same time as uh, uh, carry baby around, go for a walk, uh, feed the baby uh, and that kind of thing. So it's very important to have a balance in life. And this great invention, which is actually not expensive at all, um, each one of you can quickly uh, have one instead of new mobile phone. To have one, so this one would help you to exercise yourself in the park at the same time as uh, go for a walk with the baby. Very good, very good. Very good. Very good. Right? <laughs> yes, please select the next one. Uh, yes. So how many left? Um, yeah, we have, we have time. We have time. Just 
think that today I'm going to play that melody. And do what? All of them start to <laughs> yeah, see really. And seeing each other in this common, common space. Then you start playing another melody. And all of them again meet each other in the common space. You do it once, then do it twice, then do it three times, and finally uh, you will start having better relationships because you will see each other on a more frequent basis. So that's the way to to make neighbors friends. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's a great invention. You can see everything that is below, that's below your doors. You can uh, scare other people when you, when you would like to scare. Uh, that um, also is, is a good invention when you want to go to the toilet or when you're sleeping at night. You just don't need to switch switch on the lights. And just go with these uh, shoes. <laughs> shoes. Uh, 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 I guess that's all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes. And the next one is going to be... <laughs> okay, <I> can. participation and we have uh, this little piece of paper please uh, write down a uh, name of person who think uh, had the best speech at the stage during the table topic exercise and pass it to Margarita okay right and uh, now I'd like to invite to the stage uh, Alisa Ivanova for the third part of the meeting which is uh, evaluation of the speeches and everything so welcome to the stage Thank you. yes and here we are on the one of the most important part of the meeting evaluation and you know why 
because it helps you to improve either your performance or the medium as a whole. And my role as a general evaluator to show you some moments maybe you are not aware about, but which is help you to improve something. And uh, at the beginning, I would like to share with you some secrets. The meeting starts started a way before you come here, and it usually starts with the letter, the letter of introduction. And I was over the moon that I got this letter just direct on the 1st of April. It was really nice because the letter contained not only the schedule of the meeting, but also a very nice joke, which I like a lot. Nice purse. Thank you. It's my ex-husband. So man, be, be careful with the woman. OK, and um, now we're going to the meeting. Um, I was really delighted when I came to the room to see that the uh, room is almost ready for the meeting. I see nice attributes. Uh, this good lectern, these signs of Toastmasters, and that is really important because it can show the visitors the identity of the club. The second good point which I found uh, was a papers on the table, so I can spend my time waiting for the meeting starts and look through the paper at the same time. So I have something to do. It's nice and the visitors I saw, they do the same. However, the meeting started a little bit late, 10 minutes late, but I think it's not only the fault of organizer. It's actually, how to say, the mutual things. Because the organizer is waiting for the visitors to come and they're not coming. So what they have to do? To postpone, to postpone, to postpone. So it's uh, our mutual things to do to be on the meeting all the time. Uh, we are moving to the next step and to introduction to the president of the club, Nikolai Danilenko. <laughs> that was a mistake actually on the agenda as well. Yes, really? It's, uh, so, Dini Zelko. Yes, it was a joke actually, not a mistake. Today's day is full of the jokes and I will share some, <laughs> some with you later. So, I would like that our president was very energetic, positive and powerful. And her, his energy, he gave it to the newcomers. Because uh, I, I noticed the one thing, you, you usually stay like this. It's a post posture of very powerful man. And the man here on stage, they may be um, not unintentional, but they copied you. And some of them stayed also like this. You gave them a power. So nice thing. Um, I like that you share the information about the club. It's good for the newcomers. And I like that you um, to told uh, the people about structure of the meeting. So for newcomers, it's also important to know about the structure. And I like that you, with the help of the uh, one of the members of the committee, tell about the future event. So we are all updated, and actually I think some of us uh, decide to visit the spring conference, and we encourage you to do that. What you can improve, just a little. It's um, when you perform, when you call the newcomers uh, on the stage uh, and tell them to make the introduction. You can show how to do it yourself. You will like it here because the men here were very powerful and not shy to tell something. But uh, in some situation, they might be shy and the explanation and you sh if you show them, it will be better. And um, another little thing, not all papers were on the table, so Margot helped later, so it will be nice if you keep it in mind. And now we are moving to the second step, the Toastmaster. I was really over the moon to see the horse. It was unexpected and relevant to the subject. Uh, however, I was, how to say, um, I was expecting some connection with the personal joke, some horse connected with the joke. If you would do that, would, would have done that, it would be much more uh, impression on us. 
uh, but um, anyway, I like your performance. I like your uh, positive attitude and how you invite people on the stage. You give them uh, this space to make their personal jokes about everything. And um, your face expression is always nice, smiling. Uh, and I like how you, how to say, finish your performance uh, about the table. You offered a very unusual drink which also like reflect the atmosphere of the first day. Thanks, well done. So next up was Table Topic Master. Um, it's written right, Nikolai <laughs> 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 Okay. In general, it was perfect. I like simple visuals. It's really simple to perform and attract the attention. And I also like the funny pictures which also are very relevant of the subject. You were positive and welcoming and um, give the space to others to choose the uh, people. It's good to share, um, to share the stage with somebody. And you invited also uh, newcomers. I think some of them were newcomers and they were on the stage. Uh, you uh, didn't forget to write the names which was nice, I didn't forget about the vote, so everything was perfect except one little detail, technical things. So it's uh, advisable to check it before. Um, and we are approaching to the evaluation part. Now I'm going to share this stage with evaluator. And I introduce the first uh, evaluator who is going to lead the uh, speech of Yaroslava Artemyeva, uh, who were not shy about the body language at all. So her personal evaluator wouldn't be shy to share the experiments. Um, you let up here. Oh, well, since we have the newcomers here, I would like to clarify a little bit uh, on the Taos Master itself. So people who are here on the stage, they, just, they don't just come and deliver a, just a random, random speech that they have come up to their mind just to give a particular grade. In those masters, we have an educational program that each person can select the path or the way that they want, the path that they feel uh, sees them the most, and they have projects, and each project has its particular goal. Um, certain activities that the speaker needs to perform in order to achieve this goal. So in case of uh, Yaroslava, she had her uh, visionary communication path. If you look at the agenda, for each speech there is a, an objective. Why is she doing here and what is, she, what is she going to be performing on the stage? So her main objective was um, to use body language, but the English correctly, relevantly, so that it interacts and connects the audience. Uh, dear Slava, I think you did a very good in this particular speech, I think first of all you selected a very nice speech that allowed you to showcase the body language. And you, I believe you did it amazingly. You were doing the you were doing the dances. You were doing something with your scarf. You were showing the hockey team. That's perfect. When you use the body language, it really attracts the attention. But to clarify to the audience and the newcomers, what do the, the main attributes of the body language? It's of course the moves of your arms. That exactly what Yaroslav was doing. The second one is very important when your words are matching what you're doing with your arms. So it's not like. Uh, Nikolai, I'm so angry with you. <laughs> okay, that part doesn't match, and that's exactly what a lot, what a lot of speakers, there's a mistake that they're doing, is they're saying the word, and it doesn't really match what's happening with the arms. So, well done in your case, because you were showing, for example, plie, and you were making a plie, right? You were showing pas de bras, and you are showing the arm. That's exactly what it means when the words match, uh, when the words match the body language. What is also important is the eye contact. I call it in the sense you don't stare just in one spot, you have a chance to observe each single speaker. I think that's exactly what you were doing. You were observing the speaker, you were looking from one side to another one. That's very important so that you connect with the audience. What I can advise you and the things that you can improve uh, is, for example, to uh, make a better connection between your introduction, body, and the conclusion. So for example, in the introduction, you mentioned the hockey team. I didn't really feel the connection to the rest of the speech. What could have been done uh, to improve it? For example, hockey team. Okay, imagine the hockey team, right? You're on the play, everyone is moving, right? Everything's so dynamic, audience is staring at you, right? And then you connect to, oh, exactly, to make a speech amazing, to make a speech stand out, be like a hockey team player. 
move, use your space, use your arms, use your strengths, right? As a conclusion as well, in the body, you mentioned a lot of things about the, the pole dances, right? And I didn't really feel, so, so what, right? So you could have uh, concluded as, okay, go, go, go do uh, pole dances. Straighten your, head, straighten your uh, spine, open your arms. That's exactly what you need in your public speaking. It's just a very small example, but you need to conclude what you have mentioned in your body uh, in the conclusion part. Other than that, I think your project was successful. Like the objectives were, com uh, were achieved like 100%. Just more things to work on the structure and the speech will be significantly better. Thank you. Thank you, Yulia, for your thorough evaluation. <coughs> and it's uh, very nice to see you uh, here on stage, the person who has evaluated the project about the body language and do the perfect the body language itself, yourself. Thank you very much. And now I'm going uh, to invite the second evaluator who is going to evaluate the second speech made by Ermet Toktoglu. I like your singing. So Ma Maria, I would like to ask, are you going to sing too? <laughs> of course. So be prepared. Welcome to the stage. Thank you. Only <laughs> Okay. Good evening, dear fellow Toastmasters, dear guests, dear Ermet. What I have to say, I was over the moon about your presentation. In my opinion, the auditory was inspired too. From the very beginning when you started with interactive question to everybody, I need to speak one story, like a speaker who already done nine speeches. Let me answer, yes, definitely, Ermek and not only the one. I was over the moon after your great singing. <laughs> Let me say you sing on the 100 points. <laughs> Gorgeous. Moreover, it was much more better than in the movie. Also I noticed that you found the topic of Grand Hog Day funny and attached to the topic of today's meeting, April the 1st, jokes and humor. It is really funny, Grand Hog Day. So, also I enjoy some phrases that you use during your speech. Time by very fast. Do we live on the autopilot? Appreciate what you have on your hand. Ermek, all the time when I drive my car, I'm so tired and busy that I don't exactly remember the route. But when I sit in the car like a passenger, I closely waiting for the road, closely watching to the road. Moreover, I can repeat it with closed eyes, over the moon. <laughs> Some recommendations. So you did a show, and it will be the greatest tandem with Denise Shevchuk, but it is a public speaking club, not the theater. I missed some kind of structure, some kind of order in your speech. The second thing that I want to say it is a vocal variety and body language, both together. Pay more attention on it. When you started a speech, your voice was significantly quiet, and then I noticed that you gathered the pace, the volume. So for your future presentations, please start with a good pace and volume from the very beginning. In case of this, let me thank you very much one more time for your great presentation. It was a great pleasure to listen to you. Good luck, carpe diem, and make your life Extraordinary. Thank you. I think Marie will be a winner of the race of the day today. <laughs> a lot of over the moon. Super. You also go over the moon. <laughs> so, and now we are approaching to the project number three, which was made by Denis Shevchuk. Unfortunately, he left but we have here his personal evaluator, so welcome on the stage, Nikolai Danilenko, right? Danilenko! It was joke from me. Special, especially to, my, uh, to make okay. more laugh uh, during the meeting to have such kind of mistakes. Right, um, unfortunately, uh, dear Toastmasters and guests, uh, unfortunately Denis is left, but uh, I think all of you saw his performance at the stage. 
and maybe uh, it would be good for uh, for me to share with you my subjective personal opinion about the speech. Um, frankly speaking, uh, it is uh, I'm not uh, over the moon uh, by providing a feedback to uh, Denis Shevchuk's uh, speech because not many mistakes I saw. <laughs> because when, when you have uh, lots of mistakes, uh, providing feedback is quite easy. Right? You have such mistakes, this, 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 and, and then it's, it's kind of an uh, easy task. For me, um, and for Denis Shevchuk's uh, uh, speeches, it's, uh, it's quite difficult because he's a very experienced speaker, we saw it. He uh, used all the tools which are uh, very important for public speaker, like voice variety, like, uh, um, like uh, uh, gestures, uh, moving at the stage, even interaction with the, with the audience uh, was very effective in my view. The purpose of the speech was uh, to, uh, to make a humorous speech and make a point. In my view, that, pers that purpose was exactly meant, because uh, uh, the point was to try more public speaking uh, opportunities, like stand-up, and uh, stand-up is a great uh, platform for developing uh, speeches, and they, it is more difficult one in terms of the no, audience, because uh, within the Toastmaster we have uh, welcoming and uh, very warm atmosphere in a, in a, in a, uh, in a, s a real speech in a pub or a stand up. It's a harsh kind of atmosphere and it's difficult to deliver. So the point is given. I think uh, uh, he reached the uh, the target of this speech. Um, I have only couple small thing for improving for any speech. In my view, a uh, number of jokes, and the jokes was successful, meaning that I saw the reaction of the audience. I think uh, uh, we laughed, and, uh, which is, which is uh, uh, a good indicator. Uh, the only point I saw is that connection between the jokes was not smooth enough. I saw it as uh, uh, separate jokes. And it's, it's not so difficult, uh, so important how to mixture them, which one is first, which one is second, and uh, the order of the jokes was not quite uh, critical for the structure of the meeting uh, of speech. In my view, that should be uh, uh, made more smoothly, more more logically uh, 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 improved. That's that's the only feedback I think we, I can provide. Uh, uh, for, for Denise and that will give the feedback uh, personally next time and we have video by the way as well. Thank you very much. So that was my feedback. Thank you. Uh, I like it. And now the time for my evaluating team and I'm going to give the floor to them one by one and the first will be the timer who is unfortunately was not on time, sorry for the player for us, but made a good job for keeping us on time. Welcome on the stage with Thank your you. turn. Thank you. So, uh, as today is full day, I was wait <laughs> as timekeeper. Uh, and uh, so about speakers, Almost all uh, uh, fit uh, were fit uh, into their time limits, uh, except uh, several uh, times. Uh, one, it, w uh, it was Yaroslava Artemiva during uh, her first speech. Uh, so then, uh, Irina. Uh, during table topics uh, and uh, Nikolai Denisenko is personal evaluator. That's all. Thank you for improving our meeting um, in terms of time. And now I'm going to give the floor to uh, the second member of the team, and that is Akaunde Ricardo, who, by the way, cracked 
the hidden joke. I don't know if you know what you say, but you told this phrase. Maybe somebody <laughs> underst will understand me. You told, uh, please, pay attention to your ass. <laughs> as in English, <laughs> has a double meaning. So <laughs> thank you for five things. Um, thank you. <coughs> so the results for tonight. Uh, sadly, we have two winners. They have been using my favorite word, which is a. Uh, uh, sadly, this winner or with 20 as the king of us today is uh, Igor. And the second very close is Nikolai. So these are the persons who have to pay more attention to their us and also the <laughs> same. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot for the support of our meeting. And now the time for grammarian. And I personally enjoyed the beauty of the language today, but this person will tell you more. So please, the stage is yours. Okay, your speakers were great today. And uh, I just found uh, a few, few mistakes. Uh, Start with mispronunciation. Uh, Ermek said, I was in a hurry, I think, but uh, we should say, uh, I was in a hurry. This, uh, this is correct pronunciation. And uh, Dennis is absent, but I think he said laugh when he said about uh, laughing, and uh, it should be laugh with F. Uh, well, words and phrases that are grammatically incorrect. Ilya said it improves your life instead of it improves your life. Alisa said uh, not smoke instead of don't smoke. Okay, and uh, the top for wor words correct. Word constructions. Again, Ermeg, he said, did you see the movie? And uh, the correct way is to say, have you seen the, this movie? And uh, that's all for mistakes. Uh, it's only which I found. And uh, there are two cool phrases I noticed. It was Yaroslava, with pump your skills up. It's a really, really cool phrase. And uh, Ermeg, I, I liked your not lose the grip. So it was pretty, <laughs> pretty good. And go to usage of the word of the day. The winner is Maria, <laughs> who said, <laughs> who said, uh, Where is she? <laughs> where is she? Who said three times the phrase of the day. Uh, second place is Alisa. <laughs> and uh, once it said it, it was said by Nikolai. So we have three places here. Okay. Thank you. Question: Where is the mistake here? You said that there is a mistake in the on this paper. I don't know. If you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that it is very good approach to grab the attention because I also tried to find <laughs> I couldn't. The only little way to improve your performance here as a grammarian is maybe to write down the phrase of the day on the board so it will be more visible. There is this perfect. So I would like to tell that my performance is also close to the end and I'm ready to give the stage to the president again. Please welcome on the stage. Thank you, thank you very much, Lisa, for the good evaluation. Right, uh, we're approaching to the final, final part of the meeting. A uh, little, really, two minutes, and we will close uh, the meeting. So uh, we have, as you, as we have a quite a great competition of the table topic exercise. Who do you think is a winner? 
the winner of the table topic exercise is Julia. Yes, and this is your ribbon. ribbon. And this is your present. I take it home? Yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, welcome. And another one I'd like to invite to the stage here, Meg, because you did the 10 projects and now you are a competent communicator of the Toastmasters community. <laughs> Looking forward to the next, next. Uh, you know, uh, achievements. Thank you. I will go to take a picture. Of course. Why not me? Are you going to? I want to take a picture. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> I don't know you. <laughs> okay, excellent. Now, uh, for the evaluation of the. Uh, um, Sergey Kuzin, please uh, pass the uh, the sheets to myself uh, at the at the desk. Uh, if you don't use uh, the paper, uh, the unused paper again bring to the front desk of the meeting. Uh, we have uh, a tradition to go to after party after the meeting. Uh, welcome. Uh, it is Cafe uh, Chocolatice uh, nearby to um, Metro Station Akhtarovskaya, so uh, we can talk um, easily over there. And now, as far as uh, our sponsor of the, uh, of the club within the Institute already approaching, I'd like to close the meeting. Thank you very much. I think it was a good meeting. Uh, so looking forward to see you again. So the meeting is over.